I lost everybody. I hit the wrong button. Anyway, get on in here. My hair is fluffy today. Fluffy, fluffy, fluff, fluffy. <clears throat> get in here. Yeah, it's Friday, but it's also Valentine's Day. We're going to talk a little bit about Valentine's. Yep. Come on in. While you're getting in here, I got some announcements to tell you about. Today is the last day. I know there's only 27 people in here, but come on in. Today's the last day for our complete cleaning package. It's going away. It's going away. <clears throat> so get it now because it's it's gone forever after midnight tonight. Then um, we have the we got a flash sale going for our little cooler bag, our warm bag. You can put you can put warm stuff in here too, but it's great when you go to the grocery store. It's a flash sale this weekend. So get it. It's eleven ninety five. And um I wanna set up straight in my chair. I cut the top of my head off. So that should remind me to Yeah, I opened up this blind so I got good light coming in here and I got good light here. So we'll see how this works. <clears throat> so today's Valentine's Day. And we get so caught up in everything, everything, that we, we forget a lot of things. But I want you to take some time this morning to think about a Valentine that you got when you were a child. Do you remember any of them? Do you remember any of them? Well, when I was in the, what grade was I in? I was in the third grade, I believe. And we had this little boy in our class. And they, they lived, he rode my bus. I rode a bus to school and he rode my bus. And I remember, you know, we all made these little boxes and we made our own little mailboxes to get our Valentines in. And I remember getting a Valentine from him. And it wasn't that I um, had a crush on him or anything like that. The Valentine was so much different from any Valentine that I received. And that valentine was made out of red construction paper. And I believe it folded. So it was, you'd open it up. And it just said, be my valentine. And he signed it. This, let's see, I was probably seven or eight years old. That's been 55 years, 56 years ago. And I still remember that Valentine. Now, Robert and I don't exchange anything for Valentine's Day. I tell him what I want. And I bought me a new, I bought me a new Apple Watch <clears throat> that checks my heart rate and stuff. I bought me some AirPods, which I absolutely love. But many years ago for Valentine's Day, I mean, this was our first year of marriage. I made him a valentine. And I made it out of a slice of a broken statue. And I, I cut about a quarter inch of it and cut it with a hacksaw. It was a piece of cocobolo wood. And it... it <laughs> He's got it in his pocket. He carries it with him every day. But it was about this big. I made a heart. About this big. And it's a really hard wood. It took me a while to use the hacksaw to cut it into a heart shape. 
and on one side of the heart I I routed out a little hole about the not a hole but a, a, a depression about the size of my finger right here and I put a picture of my face I cut my face out of one of our wedding pictures and put a picture of my face on it and above it I wrote someone to watch over you someone to watch over me that's what i wrote <clears throat> with a little little arched and and decoupaged it on there now that's my picture has worn off and everything but on the opposite side i put a penny <clears throat> and it was a 1957 minute in san francisco penny now it wasn't the actual penny that he got in his hand that was a, a confirmation that God was going to send somebody to watch over him. He hears, he hears things in music and it's just, he, he heard this song, someone to watch over me. And he had thought about this one penny, this minute in San Francisco, 1957 penny that he had cheated. He said he cheated because he bought the penny from somebody at school for like 50 cents. And he had wanted that for his penny collection. And that summer that we, we met in August, but that summer he thought about that penny and how he had, uh, cause he all in the summertime, he always looks at his change in his hand to see if, <clears throat> if there's any old pennies in there. And so he thought about, buying this penny and he called it cheating he also calls it cheating when you erase when you erase on a crossword puzzle <laughs> so my husband thinks some weird things are cheating but he thought it was cheating to pay 50 cents for for this penny well he <clears throat> he just thought about it and three days later in his pocket change was a minute in San Francisco 1957 penny and he picks up the penny and he he'd been the song had been playing in his head for days and days and days someone to watch over me Robert doesn't think about popular songs. Now this wasn't a popular song of our age. I mean of of today it was something an old an old song <clears throat> from a musical. He doesn't really like musicals, but this song kept popping in his head. And then he gets this confirmation of what he's been singing in his head, this earworm that's been in his head for days of this penny. So I went to a coin store because I knew the penny was in a little little thing that he keeps. And so I went to this coin store and I wanted to buy a minute in San Francisco 1957 penny. And I told the man the story. He gave me the penny. <laughs> so I, I dribbled out a, a hole on the other side and glued the penny in place. So Robert has this valentine which used to have my face on one side, the penny on the other side, and someone to watch over me right there in his pocket. He has worn holes in his pants from this. He wraps it in his handkerchief. So every day he's got this one little valentine that I made for him a long, long time ago, 22 years ago. And he has it right there that reminds him he doesn't need my face on it because he's got my face he knows my face but he's got he's got that valentine with him every day i'm never going to beat that ever going to beat that that is going to be the his perpetual valentine just like that little valentine that i got at the sedalia school in graves county kentucky that that valentine reminds me that you know it's the simple things that matter 
It is just the simple things that matter. And keeping it simple and not going crazy. You know, that Valentine didn't cost me anything. <clears throat> it didn't cost me a single thing that I made for Robert. It, it, all it did was cost me time and working on it and polishing it up because I had to bevel the edges. And sometimes it's just the simple things that mean the most. So please don't get all bent out of shape because you didn't get what you wanted for Valentine's Day. We're in charge of, of what we want. We're in charge of it. <clears throat> You know, you don't have to, you know, get all out of whack. It's a tough day for a lot of people, but you can be your own Valentine. And that's what flying's all about. Finally loving yourself. Because when you love yourself, you are your own best Valentine. And read about St. Valentine. I think I'm going to do that today. There could be a good Hallmark movie in my future. So please, don't get upset. It's another day. My sister Dina is having a hard time today. It's a, it's really, um, it's a tough day for florist. So say a little prayer for Dina. And folks, just... Be thankful. Be thankful. It's all that matters. Send your kids a little, little Valentine. You know, send somebody a happy Valentine's Day to them. And I bet you the phone will pop up little hearts and stuff. Send them a little heart shape. <clears throat> I don't know about it making a great movie. But it's our story. It's our love story. So today's Friday. It may be Valentine's Day, but it's clean out your car day. It's clean out your purse day. It's, you know, take care of you day. Always, every day is that. Car, purse, and date night. Now, a lot of people are choosing to do date night last night because tonight's going to be crazy everywhere. We did. We went out to dinner last night. I think tonight will be a pizza night for us because pizza, nothing better than pizza on Valentine's Day. I saw that this week. <clears throat> and I did give Robert a little Valentine. I gave him a battery and an apple fritter when I got home from Ben's. So he loves apple fritter. So I bought, well, I got him an apple fritter at the donut shop before I left Knoxville. It's a wonderful day in our neighborhood. And won't you be my neighbor? Isn't that what? Uh, we might watch a movie tonight, too. There's some movies out there we've been wanting to see, so we'll, we'll see if my eye is giving me a fit. So don't forget about our sales that are ending today. A battery, yeah. He's got a battery for his... Um, He's got some power tools that use the same battery, and it's a 40 volt battery. And I got him an extra one of those batteries. You'll have to ask Ben how he's doing today. He's been, he called me at 7.30 this morning. I was up and dressed to shoes. Yep, I was. So everybody, have a wonderful day, and let's get our purses cleaned out. <laughs> a lot of people were doing Thursday night date night instead of Friday Valentine's night. Y'all just take some time. <laughs> take some time. We like that Pops um, in, in Knoxville. There's a Pops donut place. And they had free strawberries the other day, dipped in chocolate, and it was it was kind of nice. Uh, getting married on Valentine's Day—that's a smart move. 
Double whammy. Yep. We do not have a purse organizer. I got my perfectionism went kind of nuts with that one time and we just decided not going to not going to go there cuz you can get them on Amazon for $6. There are purse organizers on there everywhere. And sometimes things have too many pockets and drives me nuts. Now I do like the Bagalini purse. They have lots of styles and they're one of my favorite purses. Robert calls them a feed bag. So. I don't know why he says it looks like a feed bag you put over a horse. Whew. Anyway, y'all have a good day. I'll be back on here at 3 o'clock. And we will. Let's get our purses cleaned out. Let's get our cars cleaned out. Let's fill our cars up with gas. Because you never know. You might get to go somewhere. Your four cats gave you an FCC pack. Yay, cats. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Tulip is going to have a visitor puppy in a, in a little while. A visitor puppy is coming. Molly's coming to visit this weekend, and Tulip is already excited. She, I just mentioned Molly's name, and she goes nuts. She just goes nuts. Uh. So, folks, y'all have a good afternoon, the rest of the day. I got stuff to do. And y'all have a great day. And don't forget about our sales. I, I was going to bring my iPad in here to show you, but the FCC pack has 11 things in it, I believe. The toilet bowl brush and the toilet bowl brush. I don't know that it has the vase in it, but the uh, Back to Basics pack has the vase. Um, rub a scrub -a. Mop, broom, the rubber sweeper, the carpet sweeper, <clears throat> extra mop cloths. Let's see, what else? Feather duster. It's got everything you need to keep your house looking great. And it's a great deal. It's $75 off. Get it now. You won't be sorry. Because this is the tool that... This, this is a pack of tools that you will use for the next 25 years. Believe it or not, it's the best toilet bowl brush you'll ever buy. Look at this. This goes right under the rim of the toilet and gets out all those little calcium deposits. It makes your toilet, keeps your toilet clean and shiny. And nothing says I love you like a clean toilet bowl when you're having to hug it with the stomach virus. So y'all have a great day. I will see you at three o'clock. I love you all. And let's get some things done so you can have some fun this evening. Talk to you later. Bye.